Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing this Bachman Brill Trolley. I picked this thing up a while back, actually. I just haven't got around to unboxing it. And uh, I don't usually buy a lot of Bachman stuff brand new because I kind of uh, have a little bit of an issue with their quality. Well, it's not really so much their quality. It's more their uh, price to quality ratio. If I buy something super cheap, I don't expect much from it, but if something is kind of a higher price, you know, I expect more from it. And uh, personally, I don't feel that all their stuff is in balance in that sense, but that's just my opinion. But when I find something of theirs, that's a good price. New or used, I'll usually pick it up. And in this case, this thing was only $20. And uh, it's funny enough how this thing, uh, with several others, was only going for $20. Apparently, there was a supplier that had a lot of Bachman stuff and uh, Bachman hiked their prices, so the supplier reacted by ditching them. So um, basically, they were just trying to get rid of these things. So uh, they were selling them off for, uh, yeah, $20, $19.95 Canadian, uh, instead of basically $35, which to be fair is actually um, not too bad a price to begin with. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought that that was a, a pretty good deal, so I decided to pick it up. It's not the fanciest model out there, but uh, I think it looks good. Uh, now as for the box, um, there's really nothing too special about it, but this is kind of like older Bachman, still the pictures on the back. I've noticed on some of their newer boxes they don't have this, so I don't know if that's just the ones I've seen, but uh, yeah, I thought that that was sort of interesting. Anyway, why don't we take this thing out of the box, because it is actually quite a pretty model. Now. Uh, maybe I'll open it from this side. I'm pretty sure already. Yeah, I already opened it from this side. Um, yeah, if we just take it out here. So, there the model is. And we've got some uh, pan clips here. Let's just quickly uh, look at all those. We've got uh, a couple slips here. I don't know what this is. Post thing to sh uh, send mail to Bachman, I guess. I guess we know when this is from 2011. At least that's when uh, they were advertising that for, so that's sort of cool. It's an older style box, though. That's what I remember seeing when I was a little bit uh, younger. Uh, lighted trolley instructions. Oh, I got a breakdown. That's cool. And I think this is just the warranty. Anyway. Take the model out here. It is really quite a pretty model. Um, one thing I'll give Bachman credit for, I really like how they kind of went with a kind of more classic look. Instead of having actual figures on the inside, they just made a, a little silhouettes of all of them. And I, I thought that that's really cool. And uh, the guy at the hobby shop that I bought this from uh, put this thing on the track just to test it out for me. And I was actually quite impressed with the performance of it. It does have a can motor inside. Uh, and it's lighted, which uh, looks really cool with this uh, design. So anyway, there's the uh, trolley. I'll uh, give you guys a closer look at it so uh, you guys can see all the detail. Again, it's not the most detailed model, but, uh, you know, it, it looks really good uh, from my perspective. So here's a uh, up-close look at the uh, trolley. As you can see, uh, you got your, your rivets there. It looks all very clean. I like the little Main Street detail. I thought that that was quite good of them. Uh, if we come around to this side, again, i got the uh, people on the inside there. And, uh, you know, there, there's not a crazy amount of detail, but there's enough to be happy with. you got the uh, pentagraphs. Those are made of a nice uh, bendy material, some sort of plastic, uh, which was a good choice because if uh, you pick something too stiff, that would definitely break. And then the other side is uh, basically the same. So that's the trolley. Now let's take her over to the tractor runner because, again, uh, as I said earlier, I was pretty impressed with the performance of this unit. All right, so we've got it set up on the track, and I have to say it actually looks quite at home here on the layout. Uh, now, before anybody asks, uh, the reason I'm not running it on the street where it belongs is because uh, I actually haven't uh, quite yet finished uh, all the street running section, and I don't have a power pack hooked up to this. So for today, we're just going to run it here, but uh, maybe in the future we'll uh, be able to get that all working, because I think it really would look nice going uh, through the town. Anyways, we're going to uh, give this thing some power here. Oops. Didn't put it on the track quite right. Okay, I think we got her on now. And there she is running. As you can see, you got a light there. And uh, we're not running at, at 
too high power, but I believe the inside is also lighted. So that's pretty cool. So we'll uh, speed her up a little. I'll try to uh, get a better look at that light on the inside. All right, so now she's got a bit more power. You can see that light glowing on the inside there. Pretty good looking. Quite happy with that. It is a very pretty looking trolley, I have to say. All right, so I went ahead and just shut off a few lights down here so you guys could get a better look so you can see that light. I have to say, too, the uh, running quality of it is, is pretty good. It's uh, not too loud. It's pretty smooth. A lot of nice track noise, but uh, that's actually something I enjoy. Well, folks, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm pretty happy with this model. I mean, you really can't complain for something that's powered and uh, only costs you 20 bucks. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just a nice little addition to the layout. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching.